Alright, here we go. Hello, hello, Hutastic here. We got an A plus rating game here. The medium. This game was given to me by a fellow gamer. Shout out to Mimsy. Who wanted me to play this game. And uh yeah. I'm excited. Let's do it to it. Let's get the new game going. It all starts with a dead girl. Look good. Ah, oh, don't do that. He did that. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened, this scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. And, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. The eyes had two different colors in it. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. 
Ooh-wee! It has the Resident Evil feel. But I haven't played Resident Evil since PlayStation. Man, this look good though. Holy crap. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Jack's room. It's like he never Damn it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. This is nice. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? All right now. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay, let's do this the other way. Holy crap. There you are. Find the clip. Okay. Get to the funeral home. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Wait a minute. Let's look around the house real quick. I mean, let's explore. Nothing. Put our old kill over here. Yes. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Wow. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, I don't know where I'm he going, was the but... only one who saw it as a gift ooh, and not ooh, a curse. Ooh, ooh.
Jack's in the prep room. Okay. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Let's get the office then. Here it is. Anything? Nope. Let's get right to the point. X. Yep. Look at your eyes blink, bitch. <sighs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. Me neither. Pull them out. I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? I didn't get the tie. Uh. Oh, there it is. It's like, good lord. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. Gotta look good, regardless. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. Am I? Oh, can't 
can't you people read? The sign says closed. Oh, what? Check upstairs. All right, come on, let's go upstairs then. Oh no! Here we go. Starting early. I know we gotta go over there. We gotta go over there says it because the game says so, but Jesus. What the hell? Man, come on now. Guess you felt it too, huh? And then it happened, as it did so many times before, just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that star notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh, oh. Marianne, are you... Are you crying, my child? Yeah. Yeah. I... It's fine, Jack. Now, now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully, eh? Where is that thing? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Where is that shh, 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 notebook? Shh, shh. Huh? It's okay, and, Jack. Uh, it's okay. Oh, my sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to get some rest. Oh, mm -hmm. Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, uh, I, I, uh, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital. Are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, I, I promised myself once I, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Oh. <laughs> no risky stuff, then. All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I, I need... Oh. Yes, yes. Be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Oh, she's setting up to the afterlife. He's stuck in like purgatory or something. <laughs> she helped him move on. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To 
to say all the things that were left unsaid, but it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But no. I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... I you need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I, I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, oh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. This game looked really good, real nice. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me.
The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. All right, let's check it out. First thing first, let's go inside. Anyone home? Take a peek. I guess not. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. You want to keep me out, Neva? Yeah, breaking the law. We're gonna have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just... stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. I wonder if you can get tired. You know what I mean? Oh. Huh. Hello. No, 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 What's this? Must be getting close to something.
looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. That's what I do, follow the path. Something happened here. Oh no. The split would oh. come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Oh wow. Dead. Like everything else in this place. Nothing we can do just yet. It leads through this gate. Yeah, not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Let's see where it leads. Wait a minute. Anything? No. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely, fragile, waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world?
So I'm assuming that the power that she just picked up is going to charge the um, power supply on the wall. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? So that worked. Good for you, Maria. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Hmm. Okay. So there I was. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. For some reason it's getting real cold. Now I don't know if it's just because of a spirit or something else. What's over here? What you looking at like that? I got a feeling like these decisions I make will affect the game. Anything? No. No, 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 no. There we go. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Probably a bunch of people died there. something trust me you made the right call sending me yes it's only a matter of time I'm here no it's definitely trust me you made the right call sending me yes it's only a matter of time even the objects here had auras when I touched them I could sense their stories Words, images, feelings left behind. Remember that movie 13 Ghosts? When that one guy had like the special glasses and he could just sense things? That's what it seemed like. 
I don't know the guy's name, but he played Shaggy on Scooby Doo. Hello? Anybody in there? Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. There always is. Always. Oh! I've seen the footprints, so I'm just gonna go this way anyway. Shit. The handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. <laughs> huh? Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. If only I could reach it. I'm almost certain there's a way to climb up. Wait a minute, let me find a feet. Oh! That just leads back around. There's the only way to climb up, huh? I really don't see a, a stamina bar. Let's keep on running. There must be a way. Oh, 
Ah, there's a tree there. Well, let me go see anyway. You never can tell. Yeah, nothing. So, folks, how do we get in? You already did that. Let's see about the phone, the phone, uh, the handle on the phone, phone handle, let's see, can we take it? Show me something.
Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk. Not much here. Although, this could come in handy. Ow! Shit! Woo! It's a long time of searching, but persistence pay off. We are currently 52 minutes in. began the great dumpster heist of 1999. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. Most certain it will be. <sighs> Do not cut yourself. Don't jump down, just slide on. There you go. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there?
Okay, okay. Oh, see the dip move like that? Ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Bell hop. Bring me my ledges to uh, room 304. working flashlight is this <gasps> hello Thomas <gasps> easy Marianne it's just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Bell up. <laughs> Sinners be damned. I am cat and I like you my balls. Vote for Pedro. I'm coming, I'm coming. seem pretty cheerful to me. <laughs> well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But well, I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, uh, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time <laughs> always someone to play with must have been nice it was not anymore so tell me what happened uh, I, I remember people stopped coming uh, only a, a few of them stayed but they became very sad, very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen- Marianne? <gasps> yes. Uh, would you play with me? 
just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, Marianne! I'm looking for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, somewhere. Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. How are oh, wait. Gonna... I can't go that way. <sighs> Damn. Mm. I need to get up there somehow. Alright, the game just saved. And we are one hour, two minutes in. And man, it's getting good. And I don't want to keep. Uh, I'm going to finish this game. I'm going I'm to play it to completion, but this will be the end of part one. I hope we have made it this far. And wow, this game looks good. I may need to overclock my graphics card because I see a little stutter or dumb down the graphics a little bit. But other than that, awesome. Thank you, Mimsy. Um, but with that being said, I am Hoodtastic. This is the medium. And I am gone.